this is the production facility. Uh, I'll walk you guys through. Um, this, uh, this area is about 4,500 square feet. Uh, what's really funny is if you were to come, if you came back in about a year, this place is going to look completely different because we're about to go through an expansion. We finish our permitting probably in a few weeks, and then we're going to be ripping floor up, putting more tanks in and canning line, and new cooler outside, all that stuff. So currently, uh, you'll, you'll see it You'll see it as is now, but it'll be massively different very soon. So uh, this is uh, our production tour. distribution and our sales in the tasting room. Um, we have uh, our mill room is right here. This is uh, where we take the grain, we add the grain to the mill that crushes the grain uh, and allows us to use the insides where we get the, the carbohydrates and the enzymes. It all goes up to this PVC pipe in the air, to the brew house. Uh, this is Tom, one of the brewers, he's uh, cleaning off the brew house right now. So. Uh, we, this, this vessel that he's spraying down actually is where we add the milled grain and the hot water to create the mash. It's called the mash tun. So the mash creates the wort. Um, after that, we go through a laddering process where we separate the grain from the liquid. That also happens in this vessel. This vessel has a false bottom. So the grain stays inside, the liquid gets drawn off the bottom, and then we transfer it to the second kettle. Right back there. The second kettle is our boil kettle. This is where we, we boil it. So uh, we bring that to a boil, we add all of our hops there, that gives us you know, all of our flavor and aroma additions and bittering. Uh, after we boil it, we run it through this box here, this is our heat exchanger. So this rapidly cools down the wort, it goes from boiling to about 70 degrees Fahrenheit immediately. So then we actually run a hose from the heat exchanger to one of the fermenters. So you see we have all these different kinds of fermenters here, there's some rogue down there. Uh, we have two oak fermenters. Uh, we're the first brewery in the southeast of the country that ever had what's called a fooder. A fooder is an oak, oak vessel. Uh, we do 100% oak fermented farmhouse ale, which is a Belgian style of beer. Um, in the fermenters is where we add the yeast. The yeast converts or eats the sugar, converts it into, into alcohol and carbon dioxide. Uh, after we ferment it, we run it through that lab machine back there. That's called the centrifuge. It's what clarifies the wort or the beer. It separates. Um, all sort of the proteins in solution. It also separates hops, yeast, any sort of uh, particulate that makes it cloudy. Um, after that, we have bright beer. We then move the bright beer to these vessels, these dome vessels on the far side. These are called bright tanks. Bright tanks is where we carbonate the beer. So then we, we inject carbon dioxide into the liquid. Uh, after it's carbonated, we then line up kegs right here. You can see kegs everywhere. We line kegs up right here and we, we take that finished product, we fill the kegs up with it. We also can roll a canning line in here so we can beer. Uh, we also bottle here as well, we have a bottle line we roll in. So uh, once, the products is our, once the products are packaged, we then transfer them to the cooler that I showed you, and that's where all our finished product sits while waiting distribution. There you go.